Hey everyone, Duana Olson here, CEO of Lean Dynasty, and I wanted to do a video to walk you guys through how to set up the a new challenge group via the My Challenge Tracker app. So, um, especially for the newer coaches on my team, the My Challenge Tracker app is an amazing tool to help keep you connected with your challengers and keep them motivated on a regular basis. A lot of people are starting to shy away from Facebook for whatever reason. So I find that the app is super helpful in um, allowing the women in the group, women or men, just to feel like it's a safe place. Like nothing's, you know, no one else is going to ever see their stuff. Um, I know in my challenge groups, I really emphasize the girls in my group taking their before picture and sharing it with the rest of the women in the group. Because number one, it is super scary. But the bigger reason is because it makes this whole decision of getting healthy very real. Um, you're getting outside of your comfort zone. You're making the decision that I'm acknowledging this is where I'm at in my journey and I'm ready to make positive changes. I am excited to do this with other people. I'm excited not to do this alone. And I'm really excited to have that daily support. So the My Challenge Tracker app is awesome for all of those things and more. So I wanted to walk you guys through how to do that. I'm going to share my screen. All right. So what you do is you're just going to open up a brand new browser. And uh, looks like I already got all kinds of fun stuff open. So when you get to your browser, you're gonna to go to www.mychallengetrackerportal.com. And then, oh, ding, ding, I need to log out. So I'm already there, but that is the that is the URL that you need to use. It's www.mychallengetracker.com. And let me move my screen so I can, I have to log out. Let me log out and log back. Okay, so once you get to that website, this is what you will see. You will see my challenge tracker app, make your challenge group a success through accountability, motivation, and support. You're gonna log in with the email address that you use for your coach account and the password that you use for your coach account, your Team Beach Body account. Click sign in. And then once you're signed in, it's gonna take you to so this is your kind of dashboard. It's gonna show you if you have any current challenge groups running. Um, I've got one running. If you've been doing them for a while, it's gonna show you all the past groups that you've held. But what I wanna direct your attention to is this big, beautiful orange button that says new group. So you're gonna click that plus sign and it's gonna say, here's your challenge group, create a challenge group. So I'm gonna call my challenge group training day for an amazing summer. And I'm going to say the start date of my group is going to be tomorrow the 5th. And for the purpose of training, the end date of my group is going to be Saturday, May 6th. And then that little box will pop up saying, okay, it's a two-day challenge group. That's very helpful. For, so because let's say that you want to run a 21-day fixed group, this will help you confirm that you do have enough days selected. The other thing that I would advise is, let's say that I did want to start my challenge on the 20th. Let's say I'm starting on May 20th. In order to give your participants enough time to get their challenge packs on order, clear out their pantries, get accustomed to using the app, I always try to do my groups two to three days before. So if I'm advertising or promoting that I'm going to start my group on the 20th, I will actually start it in this app on the 17th. So let's say I will change the start date to May 17th. And then if I'm truly doing a 30-day, let's say I, all of my challenge groups are, are pretty much 30 days. So 21, so going into June 28th, so I would choose the, the 16th or the 15th to make it a true 30-day challenge. So you can use that calendar for however you would like to to best run your group. The challenge type of program. So if you are running a specific type of exercise program, this is where you want to identify that. As you can see, they've got all of the workouts in here. They also have a multi-program selection. So that's typically what I do in all of my groups because kind of everyone's doing their own thing. So you want to make it so that if you're doing a 21 day fix group, but then someone comes in and they wanna do Body Beast, if you select the 21 day fix in that dropdown, they, they will not have the ability to select that they're gonna be doing Body Beast. So um, remember, just, just keep that in mind. You wanna choose multi-program, even if I'm doing a specific um, uh, workout, if I know that I might add other people in during the month, so there's that. And then you wanna write a brief description, something that will get them excited. Um, so excited to stick with you on a daily basis 
and offers support and motivation. But you need to do the work too. Commit to showing up daily and supporting the others who are on this journey with us, all right? And then you can select an image. So when you click that, it's just gonna ask you to, um, for a picture of yourself. So I already have my image in there. And then below that, Carl Deichler's post, I like this um, if it's people that I really know who've been in my challenge group for a while. What this is, is if you leave that box checked, it will allow um, corporate uh, personnel from corporate, Carl Deichler, any of the Beachbody super trainers to post inside your challenge group. Now, they, they post to the group feed, but they can't necessarily, they're not seeing what other people are seeing. So it just depends. If you've got brand new people and there are, they're like terrified that they're even putting themselves out there, uncheck that box because especially if they start seeing men, pictures of men in the group, they're just not gonna like it. And I don't, I don't think that that, um, that doesn't help earn our trust. Um, what I have done is if I do, when we start to see the post from corporate come in, I will comment on the post to let the girls know, hey, I'm seeing this, I'm cool with it. And they're always very positive posts. It's always about the workouts or the supplements or recovery. And most recently, it's been about some of the healthy meals that some of, the, um, some of them are enjoying. So then you click create group on the bottom. And then what that's gonna do is it's gonna say how, do you, how you appear to participants. So there you go, there's my image. So I did a before and after picture and I just did it on a free app, a collage app. But then that's what I used when I originally set up my um, first challenge tracker, um, my first challenge group. So it just now uses that picture for every group that I do. So it's going to confirm your name, how participants can contact you. So make sure you update your email address and your phone number. And you also want to confirm your time zone. Make sure that's very important because if you have a challenger that is in Canada or East Coast, they know um, that they can reach out to you in the times that are most appropriate. All right, the next thing is the um, area where you can add your participants. So this is where you add people's names. So I'm gonna add myself with my secondary email, ddolson1 at yahoo.com. And you click add to list. And, and what that's gonna do is it populates the invite participants. So when I click invite, it says it's sending, and now I see confirmation down here that this person received an email invite. And what it looks like, um, so I'm hoping that I already have that email. So what it looks like is basically a note from me as their coach saying that you've been invited. Okay, so nothing's come through yet. You have been invited to a new challenge group, which is awesome because then they click on that, and then once they click on that, they will get access to the app. Once they get access to the app, that whole, the, all of those um, fields that we walk through together, this area here. Your challenger is also gonna do the same thing. They're gonna update their before picture, update their information. They're gonna list what their goals are for this entire challenge period. And if they have questions, they can come to you. So. That's pretty much it. I don't want to overwhelm anyone, but basically it's about creating the group, reviewing your profile as their coach, and then also sending out your invitations. Now, let's say that you've got 15 different emails that you've been collecting as you've been promoting, hey, I'm starting a new group. People are sending their, um, saying, yes, I want in. What you need to collect from them is their email address. So when anytime someone says, I'm in one, I'm ready to join the group, I will say, great, all I need is your email address. And let's say I'm promoting it for May 1st, and we're gonna start on April 27th, just to get you, know, get you um, acclimated with the app and ready to go come Monday. You're tossing out the junk food and you're ready to go. You need their email address. Once you update everyone's email address, the portion of the Challenge Tracker app that shows you your in invites and everyone that's been invited, if you go to participants, so obviously I haven't accepted, so there's no participants, but if everyone had accepted, you're gonna see everyone's name, on the right hand side, actually I'm gonna to go to another group and I will show you exactly what I'm talking about. Um, you will see, no, I'm actually not gonna do that. You will see, because um, I don't wanna share email addresses on this video. 
you will see the list of everyone who's you've invited and whether or not they've accepted. For anyone who hasn't accepted, let me stop share because I'm pretty much okay. You will see a list of everyone who's been invited and a list of everyone who's been accepted on the right hand side. For everyone who hasn't accepted, you'll see a little blue link that says resend. Sometimes when you send the invite, originally it'll go to their spam or they just don't get it. So if you click that resend, it will it will send resend the invite and then I'll follow up with a text saying, hey, check your email, I just resent the invite, looking forward to having you with us. So that's, those are the basics, guys, of how to get started. Um, it's best to do that from a computer. Do the initial setup from a computer. Because you're using your coach ID and your coach email to set it up, once you do set it up, you will then be able to do it from your phone via the app. The my, so you're gonna get an email saying that you've been added to a new group. Even though you're the admin, you set it up, you're gonna e get an email saying that you've been added. Once you get that and you set up, um, you will be able to, okay, so here it is. So I'm gonna share this with you. So this is the email that comes through. So it says, hi, Duana, congratulations. Um, you have been invited to a challenge group. Here it is, and then get the app. So right on the invite, it will allow your participants to get the app, download it to their phone. You won't need to touch the computer portion as a coach until the next time you start a new group. So hopefully that makes sense. Um, any questions or comments, I'm here. Text me, message me. Thanks for watching, guys. Super proud of you. Let's go continue to change lives. Talk to you guys soon.